Hey everybody! So today we're going to take a look at the Diamond Select Lost in Space robots. So these are different versions of the robot that Diamond Select has come out with over the years. And uh, these are great. I absolutely love these things. Um, it originally started with the original gray one right here, or silver I guess, and then uh, I think the next one they came out was, was uh, the Golden Boy version, this one. And then we had the uh, antimatter robot, and then we also, the last one, the latest one, is this one, the retro one, which I really love because that one is based on the old Ramco robot from the 1960s, which I still have mine from when I was a kid. So uh, <laughs> these robots are really cool, and I think they were uh, roughly based on the original mold of the old Trendmasters robots that came out in 1998. So let me throw that one in here and you can see what it looks like. So now we can see the Trendmasters one is here on the right, and it's a little bit smaller, and then that's the Diamond Select one. So if you look closely, you can kind of tell that these are all from the same mold. It's just that they made it bigger, the dimensions bigger, on the Diamond Select one. So the legs and the tread are exactly the same. It's exactly the same thing. And you can even see on the original Trendmasters one, this little door used to open, but on the, uh, the new Diamond Select one, it's just closed and sealed in. And then the body looks exactly the same as well, except all they did is make the dimensions of it bigger. And so I'm guessing they did that because the electronics in the Diamond Select one are uh, much more complicated. Although this one had a lot of movement where it would turn and talk and the bubble would go up and down. Um, this one doesn't have any movement, but it has a lot more vocal things and the lights are way better. So uh, anyway, yeah, they just took the uh, Trendmasters one and just kind of redid it. So this is the retro version, and it's based on the old Remco robot that you see here. And so this is my original Remco robot from when I was a kid, and I have taken very, very good care of this thing. I mean, it's in really good shape because when I was a kid, um, I wanted one of these things so bad because I loved Lost in Space and I loved the robot. And uh, we didn't have a lot of money when I was a kid, and so for, for my parents to get me this was kind of a big deal, and so I always very much appreciated my parents getting me this robot, and so it's always kind of been near and dear to my heart just because of, you know, what it meant to, to get that, and so I'm very glad I still have it. The springs still work on his uh, arms, the motors still work, and his little light still works. And they used, a, they used a bunch of these in different episodes of Lost in Space. It was really cool how they ended up using the Remco robot. But yeah, so that one there is based on the old one. Okay, so here they are with all their lights turned on. And unlike the old Trendmasters one, the lights on these were really well done. Uh, all the little blinkies that they put in there, the way they made the, the uh, brain light up with the eyes, and then the little lights underneath where the finger lights are. And so they're, uh, these all have different voice tracks. Well, actually, the one, uh, the silver one here and then the retro one have the exact same voice tracks. And then these two are specific to the episodes that they came from. So um, let me just quickly show you uh, these two, and I'll run them both at the same time because they have the same voices. All right, so on the side here, they have their little power pack. And the power pack is the little button that operates their voice. So if you just push it, they each say... Uh, one line each, but if you press and hold them, then they will say all of their lines at once. So let me see if I can uh, get them both going at the same time here. Danger, danger, Will Robinson. I must warn the others that I must warn the others there is a dangerous alien among us. 
<laughs> All right, so they have quite a few voice tracks on there, and I'm uh, really glad that they did that. Uh, this one probably has a weaker battery, that's why it kind of started to fall behind. And then after you run all the voices, they automatically turn off. But if you do uh, one voice at a time, the lights will stay on. But uh, yeah, those are great. Okay, so let me show you Golden Boy next. Okay, so this is the Golden Boy version, and this was based on the episode called Cave of the Wizards, where uh, the robot, they actually painted him gold in that episode. I was really surprised that they did that. So. Uh, uh, the prop guys had their work cut out for them having to paint the robot gold and then repaint them back to a silver look. So this one has a, a several tracks as well, so let me get those started. Watch it. I do not like grubby finger stains on my new suit of gold. From now on, I would appreciate it if you would call me Golden Boy. In my opinion, it is not Professor Robinson who needs psychiatric treatment. It is his doctor. I forgot. You are brave, handsome Dr. Smith. I am a cybernetic hero. I would like to express an opinion. All right, that one has some great lines in it. Um, some of those, my, my big robot says the same things. But uh, th now the voice tracks on this one aren't necessarily specific to that one episode. Um, I think they just found some other fun things that they can stick in there. But that one's great too. All right, let me show you the uh, antimatter robot. Okay, so this one um, is kind of one of the rare ones. I, in fact, uh, when, they, when Diamond Select released these, it seems like it had a really limited run. And I don't even know if they're still making this particular one, but if uh, if you can find it, I think they go for kind of a lot of money now. But this one is based on the Antimatter Man, which is considered one of the best episodes of, Lo of Lost in Space, and it is. It's a great episode, and it's one of the rare episodes where you get to see the the uh, the hero robot and the stunt robot in the same scene. There's a, cu a couple episodes, or maybe three episodes, where you actually get to see that happen, and this is one of them. So they actually painted the stunt rope. Uh, robot black and white like you see here and he had no color in the lights on his chest all right so let me show you his voice tracks <laughs> All right, th those were cool too. So uh, some of those lines were actually from the first episode um, when the robot didn't have as much personality and he was uh, almost kind of evil because Dr. Smith had programmed him, uh, you know, did his his programming on him. But uh, um, yeah, and then the other uh, lines are from the Anti-Matter Man episode. But yeah, this is a really cool one. I should have bought two of these because they're kind of rare now. Okay, so here's another one that I have that's pretty special because it has the autographs of the remaining cast members.
um, with the exception of June Lockhart because she doesn't do conventions anymore. But here you can see uh, Angela Cartwright's, she really put a big signature on here. And uh, there she is with her name Penny, her character's name on there. And then on this side we have Marta Kristen who played Judy on the show. Up here is Bill Moomy, uh, Will Robinson. And over here is Mark Goddard, Major Don West. So yeah, it was really cool to get their signatures on one of these guys. And, and they love these robots. They think they're really cool. I think when Angela first found out about these, she immediately wanted one. That was several years ago. So let me show you some pictures of them signing the, the robots. Okay, so here is Angela Cartwright, and she's signing the robot here. And uh, you can see she has other various pictures there. And somebody even brought a uh, laser rifle, which was really cool. And uh, I don't know if she signed that or not, but um, they, she, she loved these robots. She thought they were great. So yeah, that's Angela Cartwright. So here's Marta Kristen, and she is also signing one of the robots, and also the tons of pictures that she has there for uh, her fans to sign. So that's really cool. You can see that Angela had already signed it at that point. Here's Mark Goddard, and he is, I think he just got done signing these. And uh, he's such a nice guy. I, he just loves talking to the fans and sharing some funny stories. And, and uh, I just had such a great time with him when he was here in town. But yeah, there you can see he's signed a couple of the robots there. And finally, here is Will Robinson himself, Bill Moomy, signing the robots as well. Everybody was, is, is just so nice, uh, you know, to the fans and everything. And I, I think it's cool that after all these years, they appreciate the fans um, you know, appreciating what they did and everything, but uh, I think it's really cool that they enjoyed signing the robots. It was a lot of fun. So these next couple of pictures I'm going to show you, I debated whether or not to uh, put them in this video or not because I was going to try to not do any face reveals on my videos, but this picture is pretty cool and I think it was it would be fun to share it with you all. So um, a couple years ago, Mark Goddard was here in town and uh, I mentioned in my, my previous video of my full-size Lost in Space robot um, that we had so much fun. Mark was so nice. I got to spend the entire week with him. We had lunch together. Um, he was telling me all kinds of cool stories about working on the show, and he even told me how much people were, you know, what their salaries were, which was really, really cool. It's just a super nice guy, and so um, he uh, had a photo shoot for uh, the following day. It was like a Saturday morning for all the fans who paid money to have their pictures with him, and so he came up to the robot room and asked us, hey, can you guys uh, bring that robot down there? when we're doing the pictures and he goes and could you he asked me if I could get inside because um, he said it'd be a lot of fun and we were like oh yeah heck yeah we'll, we'll do that it'd be a lot of fun so um, although we're not allowed to make money uh, on our robots we were more than happy to help Mark make money because by having the robot there it brought in even more fans and so we had so much fun and then after we were done with the photo shoot the photographer said hey why don't we do some some candid shots and so uh, <laughs> so the robot that I'm inside belongs to Craig he's in our B9 robot builders club and as I mentioned before he has got the most accurate beautiful robot inside and out it is absolutely accurate everything on the inside when I'm sitting inside here like this everything that I'm operating in here and then the headpiece that I'm wearing inside here to operate all the head stuff is exactly like the original robot was on the TV show and so we did some funny little pictures like this one, and he was nice enough to autograph it for me as well. And then here's another picture where we were just screwing around, and, and this picture is great. I absolutely love this. Um, I also had another picture where I was still in the full costume, and I had my arms around him, and he had this funny look on his face, and I uh, was only allowed to get two pictures. They wouldn't let me have more than that. But the one that we did get with my arms around Mark, um, we gave to Mark because we figured we should give him something. Mark was so nice. Um, the show on the the following day on Sunday, uh, pretty much everybody had left and he was still there because I we asked him, could you please stay long enough to uh, sign these pictures because these pictures were taking so long to get developed. And he goes, oh yeah, he goes, I'm not going anywhere. He says, I'm staying here for the for the night anyway. He says, my flight doesn't leave till tomorrow. And so he was just kind of hanging around to get a, a few more autographs in. And so he was very nice to stick around. And uh, But anyway, <laughs> we had so much fun doing these pictures. And uh, as you can see, I mean, the robot costume is very big. It's very large. And, and so, um, as I mentioned in my previous video, I'm the only guy that's short enough and small enough to fit in there because it's pretty cramped inside. There's a lot of electrical stuff going on in there. These arms are really heavy. When you have to, when you hold your arm out like that, your arms get really tired after a while. And then uh, 
There's a little head piece that I wear inside there that can operate the head to make it turn and make the bubble go up and down. And uh, so, yeah, it's a it's a really fun to be inside the robot. I understand now why Bob May, the actor who played the robot on the original TV show, loved doing it so much because it is it's a lot of fun. But yeah, Mark Goddard, I got to tell you, I can't say enough good things about him. He was so nice. I just uh, really enjoyed that. He made that convention the most special one I've ever been to, and I've been to a lot of conventions. So anyway, I thought you'd enjoy that picture. Now here's another fun picture. Uh, this is from last year. We didn't have a convention this year because of the whole virus situation. It was canceled, unfortunately. But um, last year we had Walter Koenig, who played Chekhov on the original Star Trek, and uh, being in this club has been so cool because we get to meet all these uh, celebrities and, and and kind of on a one-on-one -on -one basis, not just, you know, somebody that you meet to at their booth and have them sign pictures or whatever. And so um, this was a complete random thing. Uh, I was already in the robot and um, I can usually stay in there for about two and a half hours or so. And uh, uh, lo and behold, Walter Koenig walks in with uh, his assistant and he's just kind of looking around. He's like, oh, wow, look at all these. And uh and we were like, oh my gosh, it's Walter. And he just came in and he was like looking around at the robots and he was checking them out. And uh, and then he saw, I was in, I was inside the robot here and, and it was the only one moving at the time. So um, so he uh, comes over and everybody's like, hey, can we take your picture? And so uh, there I am inside the robot and I, I, I thought, I wonder if he'll let me put my arm around him. And he did, he was really cool. He was very, very nice. Another wonderful, nice uh, celebrity from the shows that you grew up with. And he's a very quiet man, you know, He's but he's uh, he's just nice. He's a nice guy. And so the following day, I went up to uh, his booth and I brought that picture and I said, um, I said, do you remember this from yesterday? And he goes, oh, that was you inside there? And I said, yeah. <laughs> and so he was asking some questions about it and took a couple of minutes to just chat. And it was really nice. And I also had him sign another prop, which I uh, featured in another video, the, uh, the uh, photon collector that he signed for me as well. So another great celebrity, another great person to meet, another really nice person. And so it's it's great when you meet these people and you find out that they really are nice in real life. So another great experience there. All right, well, that's all the Diamond Select robots. There's four different ones currently available and uh, all these different variations. I don't know if they're going to come out with more. I kind of hope they do. I don't know if there's any more that they can come out with. I think they've just about covered every variation of the robot that they could but who knows diamond select may come up with something else but uh yeah this uh, the silver one here uh, and the uh this one you can still get the the, the uh, retro one um i get notifications from uh, entertainment earth all the time that they're back in stock um and this one the silver one's been out for a long time but these two here golden boy and the uh Antimatter one, that's a different story. Um, if, especially the uh, antimatter one. That one in particular, it seems like they had a really short run of those and then they just disappeared and I haven't seen them anywhere. Um, seems like if you find them on eBay, they kind of go for premium prices now. And even Golden Boy too. So if you can still find them uh, and, you, and you want them, try to get them before they're completely gone. But yeah, these are really cool, and if you're a Lost in Space fan, like a Lost in Space robot, especially like myself, um, you'll definitely want to get these, and uh, they're great. I absolutely love them, and they make a, a great collection. All right, well, anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, if you did, please give a like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate that, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks again, and have a good one.